Shalom and welcome to our new series on Living Supernaturally. We are glad that you could join us to listen to God's Word and meditate on it. This week ahead, we are going to look at uh, our responses to adversity. Adversity is something that all of us face at some point or the other, and none of us are immune to it. At some point, it is going to happen. Maybe even as we're speaking today, there may be some of you who are going through certain afflictions or hardships. It's probably an issue with your health or it's an issue with a relationship. It could be a rebellious or an obstinate child that you're dealing with. It could be effects from a difficult workplace or even something as hard as a loss of a loved one too. One of the biggest problems we face when we are going through adversity is a sense of discouragement. And this discouragement sometimes can affect the way we respond to adversity. But as a believer in Jesus Christ, you and I have a promise that we can hold to. And that is to take heart. Because Jesus has said in John 16, 13, I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Jesus in this verse says, we will all have tribulations. But even in the midst of it, it, there is something we can look to, which is the peace of God. We will be able to walk through our hardships and our afflictions with peace and purpose. Jesus knows that you and I cannot overcome our adversities and our afflictions on our own. And so he has assured us the victory and the peace in times of tribulation and adversities. This encouragement, if you look at in other versions, it says, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Now this talks about a guaranteed victory that will be experienced at the end of our trials. So it is a word of courage that is meant to strengthen you and me when we are going through a battle. Whatever has a beginning must have an end. So Jesus is telling us to take heart in all our trials, in all our temptations and our troubles. The world that we live in, yes, is a world of sin. It's a world of evil and death. But our hope is there because Jesus defeated uh, Satan when he went to the cross. And so we can cheer up because Jesus has overcome the world and this affliction will not last. He did not leave you and me alone, but he left with us a custodian, the Holy Spirit who helps us in our time of need. So let's stay firm in the love of God and take heart because we know that he is with us. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your promise of being with us, of giving us peace, of showing us a purpose at times of our affliction. Lord, I commit every person who is going through an adversity right now. Lord, I pray you encourage our hearts, Lord, even as we look to you and take heart, because in you we know we are overcomes. We thank you, Lord Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.